So today we're going to talk about middle blocker transition footwork. You know, when a, a middle blocker goes to either antenna uh, and the ball is played behind them, we want them to be part of the offense. And so often I see middle blockers not really be trained to get off the net and get back in so they can be part of the offense. So what we're going to try and do is refine how to get from point A to point B and some of the keys that we're going to emphasize. First key is we want them to locate the ball quickly. In order for that to happen, we don't want them to turn their back on the ball. So if the ball is hit to the right, we don't want them to land and turn to the left and, and vice versa. So we want them to locate the ball quickly. And secondly, we want them to get off the net towards the middle of the court. And I think from the middle of the court, you can pretty much run any sort of offensive play that you have uh, inside your system, uh, but you have to get off the net. Um, and the biggest mistake I see with so many middles is they land from the block and they run along the net, but not off the net. Um, so those are going to be the two most important things. Find the ball and then get off the net and try to get as much to the middle of the court as possible. So we're going to have you know, one of our younger players who's just learning this footwork go through this and demonstrate it. And it'll give you a good idea of at least what we're trying to do and you know then uh, you know the players must have to practice this or they need to practice this every day and we put it in as part of their warm-up in terms of just instead of just running around in circles warming up they do blocker footwork transition so it's an everyday thing and if if blockers do this every day you know they'll start being able to get off the net find the ball without even thinking about it it'll just become second nature to them we're going to go through some of the blocking footwork and taylor cooper who plays on uh, the front range 16s team is going to demonstrate and taylor's still in the learning process as well so i think she'll give a good model of of uh, you know kind of the learning curve and, and you know, but again she's somebody who comes in every day and before practice and, and works on this stuff so the improvements has still been significant. Remember our two keys is we wanted to make sure the, the middle blocker keeps their eye on the ball and we want to try to get them to the middle of the court to start their transition footwork. So in essence we have four patterns and those are based on where the block is, right antenna, left antenna, and where the ball goes. So I'm going to walk through it first and then Taylor will, will demo. Um, if a middle blocker goes to the outside, so they're in this court position, the ball goes, we'll start with the ball going cross court. So the ball goes inside the block cross court. Again, the key, keep, keep the eyes on the ball. So our first move is to find the ball. As we find it, we step off the net. So this is our first step, okay? So it'll be one, two, now we're at the middle of the court, and then we track the ball back to the setter. So it's a one-two pivot. So here, block, one-two, one-two-three, either running a one ball or get to the middle of the court and you come back and run a slide or middle of the court, run a 31. So Taylor's gonna go through this a little bit faster than, than I was and uh, give a demonstration of going to the right, go ahead, going to the right, ball goes cross court. So three steps out here, one-two, and then she's back on attack. Do the same thing now, come in the middle of the court and you'll run a slide in transition. Here, one, two, and then it's back behind the setter. So we're gonna do the same thing again. Now this time she's gonna run a 31 on transition. Here, so it's just big one, two off, step away, now she's back to run a 31. So again, the key being get to the middle of the court and track the ball. Here's the mistake that your middles will make, and I'll, I'll demonstrate it. So they'll come here, they'll do a good job of this, they'll do a good job of this, and then all their weight rocks back. And now they're going to have trouble getting back and making any sort of quick transition move. So again, Taylor will demonstrate this. What we really want to focus on as coaches is make sure when they get to this position that their weight's forward. So there's not a rocking step back before they go back forward again. Everything is forward. So just run a one ball on transition. Here, 
one, two, her weight stays forward, and then it's back to the net. Okay, so make sure you don't allow your players to rock back and have all their body weight back on their back foot. So that is a ball where the blocker has gone to the right, and it's, the ball has been hit inside of them towards the cross court defender. Same move in terms of going to the right, but now the ball is hit down the line. So as she goes out, it'll be here. She tracks the ball with her eyes, and then it's a drop step. So I watch the ball being dug. One, two, three. One, two, three. Back to the, uh, back to the net on transition. So Taylor will demonstrate again. So to the outside, big drop step here. And then from, again, from the middle of the court, we're gonna run a slide on transition now. Here, big drop step and then back behind the setter. The thing that Taylor's doing well, which is gonna be a point of emphasis, go ahead and we'll walk through this. If she goes to the outside, the thing you wanna make sure that your blockers are doing is the first step is taking them to the middle of the court. A common mistake is the first step is just kind of a half turn. So they've taken a step, but they haven't gone any place. So the first step is a big turn, then she follows through. So they're big steps to get to the middle. Okay, we say that because if the first step is just here, she still has to get to the middle. Now she's going to have trouble getting there. So the direction of that step is here. So she, she goes back to the middle of the court. So demonstrate it one more time. Uh, doesn't matter what you do on transition. So here, big step with her right foot, gets to the middle, and then she can come back in, run 131 or a slide. So going to her right. We have footwork going inside of her cross court to get off the net. And we have footwork going, if the ball sit down the line, footwork to get off the net. So that was the footwork going to the middle blocker's right. Now we're gonna do the same thing if the ball's back set and the middle blocker has to go to the left. Concepts are the same. We wanna get to the middle to start our approach. We wanna keep our eyes on the ball. So the first will be a ball being hit Cross court, I stay on the ball, and it's just going to be one, two, three off the net, one, two, three, back to the setter for transition attack. So Taylor will demonstrate that. So it's to the outside, big drop step to the middle, and then goes back for attack. Now do the same thing and run a slide. Here, big drop step to the middle, one, two, three, and then she goes back behind the setter for a slide. Good, now, same thing, goes to her left, ball's hit down the line, track the ball. So her first step is gonna be with her eyes, back to the middle, one, two, and then one, two, three. So she'll demonstrate. So the outside, big drop step, gets her to the middle, and then she goes for her transition swing. Uh, let's, let's, this time let's do get to the middle and then come back and run a 31. Here, big drop step, one, two, and then she gets back into zone three and hits a 31. Okay, so let's get out here like you were blocking. Again, common mistake is the ball goes down the line, so she does a good job of tracking it, but then a lot of mills will just take a little baby step. And Taylor's doing a good job right now. Her first step is a big step and she's getting to the middle of the court. That's the direction she's heading. Now her second step will take her to the three meter line. And then from there, she can just run her transition offense. Okay, so now we're gonna go through all of these and I'll play setter, except I won't set. I'll just toss transition swings. So I'll be a right front player. And first thing we'll do, ball goes down the line. Um, she'll get off the net and run transition one. Then she'll go cross court off the net, transition one, and then we'll do the same thing from the left side. So you get an idea of how the, the uh, middle block or any transition and the setter will work together. So I'll start out here, and this will be down the line first. Okay, so I'll be here, down the line, she turns, finds the ball, comes back in, and hits her transition one ball. Okay, this time we're gonna hit two balls. Uh, again, she'll be going to her right as if the ball was set to a left front attacker. First one's down the line, big drops at the middle, she'll run her transition attack. The next ball will be simulating a cross court, 
So she'll turn the other way, eyes on the ball, get to the middle, and transition to attack again. So I'll be the right front player. First one's down the line. Here, she drops to the middle, finds the ball, comes back. There, good. Now this is cross court. Big drop step cross court. Good. Okay, same thing, but now we're going the other direction. The ball's been back set. Taylor's going to do a sequence of two. First one's going to be down the line. Eyes stay on the ball. Big drop step with her left foot to get her to the middle. The second ball will be a ball hit cross court. Now her first step will be a drop step with her right foot. Here, big drop step here. Gets the middle, and then she swings through. Big drop step with her left foot, excuse me, her right foot, and she swings through. Okay, two things. I'm going to wrap up here uh, directly. I want to show you what our middle blockers do at the start of practice. And they just they do this all by themselves. This is this is their warm up. And Taylor will demonstrate where it's not real intense. Go ahead, Taylor. Where she's just rehearsing footwork, and she will go all the directions: ball down the line, ball cross court, and she'll run different things on transition, sometimes a 1, sometimes a 31, sometimes a slide. But this is the equivalent of scales. If I'm, a, if I'm a pianist, I do scales. And this is what she's doing right now. So every day when they come in, they automatically just start working on, on footwork. Good. So even though they're going half speed, as a coach, you want to be watching for where where their, what their footwork is and making sure their footwork is correct and also making sure that their posture stays in, in, in a proper fashion so you don't want the shoulders coming back so as soon as the shoulders come back the weight comes back now your transition gets slow so even when they're coming off the net they want to try to keep their shoulders and weight in a forward position so that's kind of what we do with our middle so we have very scripted footwork when the ball goes to either antenna Based on where the ball goes, the footwork's a little bit different, but the goal is keep your eyes on the ball and try to get where your footwork takes you to the middle of the court so you can be part of a transition offensive pattern. The other thing I'll emphasize, and something you might put into your offensive system, is off of a dig, sometimes the setter comes off the net, which is certainly fine. Um, but you want to try to put into your offensive system where the hitters are comfortable getting away from the setter. I think it's easier to set middle attackers when the setter comes off the net if there's distance away. So being able for the setter to come off the net and set into zone three or get out, come off the net and set a slide. But that's something that has to be practiced um, and, and have it be part of your offensive and transition systems.